creating your own private online community is probably one of the hottest topics right now when it comes to making money online. And that's particularly because of Alex Hamose recently becoming a part of the school platform. Now, in my personal opinion, I think one of the best alternatives to school right now is Kajabi because of its huge heap of features that are included within the monthly subscription. Not only does it have online community areas, but also it can host your online courses. It can also be your main website. You can do coaching calls. You can do live Q&A calls, all sorts of different things, but have a way more professional and scalable feature set than something like school and it is actually cheaper. School is $99 per month and Kajabi can be anything from $100 to $400 per month. But when you add in all the additional tools that you need in order to run school properly, Zapier, you also need an actual website to be proper landing pages. So you need something like Squarespace. They need MailChimp to do all of the email marketing. They need something like ClickFunnels to also create landing pages. That will soon exceed $400 per month for the maximum plan on Kajabi. And it would be just an absolute nightmare to use because you have to link it all up with external separate software suites. So I personally think Kajabi Community 2.0s is a pretty solid option and very convenient. And in today's video, I'll go ahead and show you how to set one up and also how you can use some of the different features. So right here, we've got a blank Kajabi website. There's absolutely nothing on here, so we can start afresh. You're gonna wanna scroll over to your products tab and scroll down to here where it says community. Inside of here, you can go ahead and click get started and you'll have the option to name what your community is going to be called. Now, the clever thing about Kajabi communities is they recently purchased a platform called Vibly. Now, Vibly was probably one of the most uh, popular community online platforms, kind of similar to that circle um, platform where basically it essentially allows you to create your own Facebook private community group, but you actually owned it and it's on your own website. So this is now owned by Kajabi, Vibly, and it is now natively integrated into your Kajabi subscription. So that's another thing that you get included in your Kajabi monthly subscription, as well as all of the awesome AI tools and the Adobe tools that have been added to Kajabi as of late. And by the way, if you want to follow along with what I'm doing in today's video, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get an extended 30 day free trial to Kajabi, which is 16 days completely for free, in addition to the normal 14 day free trial. So you get all these extra days, which give you a whole month for free to get this website set up. And also I have a bonus offer at the moment where if you sign up for the free trial, you'll get an email where you'll save $200 on my YouTube roadmap to success, which is our flagship course that will show you how to create videos that go viral. Because on the internet, I have over 500 million views across all of my different YouTube channels and also my TikTok accounts. And of course, building out an online course is only one part of creating a product. You also need to find a way to get attention on the internet and also get a traction on your videos to funnel people over to your website and your courses to actually sell them on those without needing to rely on your know, paid ads and having a budget to run Google ads and Facebook ads. So all you have to do is sign up for the free trial linked in the description, and then you'll receive an email with more information about this program. So going back to building out our community, right here, we can input our details for what we want to call this. This is gonna be a completely random community. So let's just call this the squad and they're going to put this here the coolest community on the internet. So inside our new community, this is going to be called the squad and it's got a little bit of description about what it is. You could put things in here like call to actions. You know, this, you know, we, we live stream. So for example, we could, for example, you know, live calls, you know, every Thursday. You know, so you can put something useful in there. So that's the basics of the details built out. Then from here, you can go ahead and upload an image. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add the thumbnail for our YouTube roadmap to success because this is a file that I have conveniently saved on my laptop and to hand. And then this will go ahead and change the branding right here. Cause if you didn't add an image, it would just have a generic wallpaper that looks a little bit rubbish. So then we can click continue. And then now we can create our access groups. Now access groups are essentially different channels of discussion topics within the main community area. So our main community area is called the squad. So this is the main community. So people join the squad, but then they can access different groups depending on if they're paying for them or whether they're free or whether they're enrolled on particular courses. This is something that school cannot do without requiring Zapier and Stripe. So on school, which is the main competitor to this, you can create your main school community, but you can only create one payment plan essentially for it. You can't have a free tier or a paid tier within the native tools available to you on school at the time of filming this video. The only way to have a free and paid tier on school is to use a Stripe checkout page inside of your school community, which then is linked up to Zapier so if somebody subscribes for $20 per month, it will then allocate them, let's say level 10 inside of the school community. And then of course, inside of your school community, you can give people different accesses to things depending if they're level one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight, nine, 10. So at level 10, they might have access to everything because they're paying. So you have to set up this convoluted sales funnel, take people off the platform over to a Stripe checkout page, then set up a backend thing on Zapier.
here. If that link breaks, then people might be paying and not get the level 10. So you get a complaint. It's just a complete nightmare. It's just not worth it in my personal opinion. I don't think it has the feature set that people claim school actually does. They just want you to use the affiliate link so they can meet Alex Almose and get loads of people signed up and be the best referral. So basically inside of your Kajabi community, it works the same, but you can create different access groups and these access groups can be easily turned on and off as to whether somebody has access to them if they've paid or if they're free or if they're a part of a course or if they've completed a course. So you might have, you know, an access group for somebody who's consuming the course currently, but then a graduates access group. So once they finish the course, they're now qualified and go in the almost graduate alumni area where they can go and talk about things in more detail rather than with all of the beginners who don't know what they're talking about. So let's, for example, call this main hub. This might just be our main access group that we would have for people who join for free. And we'll just go ahead and click continue. And then as you can see here, you have the option to label this as either being free or paid. So if you were to go ahead and click paid, you could connect your payment providers, whether that be Stripe, PayPal, or also the new Kajabi payments, which is fantastic. That allows you to use Apple Pay, Google Pay, and also something called Afterpay. So if this is a really expensive community that's $1,000 per month or something ridiculous, with Afterpay, it will guarantee that you'll receive your money, although you do have a slightly larger transaction fee, about 6.9%. It means you'll be definitely will receive the money even if somebody's credit card fails. So if somebody normally tried to put this on a credit card and they had crap credit and they didn't have the cash to actually pay for your monthly subscription, you might lose out on that money and you know basically it bounces. Whereas this way with Afterpay, if you may be selling a $5,000 coaching program and you want to break it up into monthly installments, you'll definitely get your $5,000 even if somebody defaults on payments and Afterpay will take care of obviously all the legalities for that person who defaulted. So I'm just going to set this as a freebie right now because we want this to be a free community as our main hub and then we want to have paid hubs as a additional add-ons for courses people might be a part of, you know, even additional monthly revenue for special closed off community areas. And then once this is being generated, which just takes a couple of minutes, you can see that this is what your community will kind of look like. So you have your main feed that you can go ahead and do posts like welcome to the team. And then here you might have some rules of engagement. Don't do this. Don't bully people. Don't say things that are offensive. The standard stuff, common sense. You might have some rules of engagement and you could add some files, some images, and you just literally click post. And you can see this looks like any typical sort of Facebook community group that people will know and understand how to use or any standard social media platform. Now, I think this is a very good thing because if this community area was alien to people and they had all these fancy features, which some other platforms I, I think fall into that category. Because this is so generic and obvious, it means anyone who's ever used social media <laughs> will know how to engage in this community so you don't need to create a tutorial explaining how it actually works. Then of course, you've got your little likes and things. You can also do additional emojis and you can customize these inside of the back end, which I'll show you right now. So that's sort of a post, you can comment, you can leave likes and reactions. Now, if you click this little cog button right here, this will take you into the details and information and also analytics about your community area. So you can see right here, we've just set this up in this moment right now. And currently I've got no members, I've got no mates. So you can see how many active members this community currently has, but also you can see how many messages are currently being sent. So we just sent a message and you've seen that has now been reflected in our analytics on the back end. So this is useful to know if there's a lot more engagement happening more than normal, or if engagement is down. You'll see there's this little up arrow, one more than previous period because we've never posted before. But you might, for example, you might say a thousand messages sent. You might go, oh, that's down for this week. You see that you can organize this by last month, last six months, last month, all time, seven days. You go, oh, our engagement's down this week. Why is that happening? So then from this point, you have active data that you can react to. You can go, okay, engagement's down. Let's do a new drop. We're going to drop a new program this week, or we'll do a live stream this week, or we'll do a challenge this week to try and promote and boost engagement to keep the group alive and fostering, obviously, that community. So you can have that analytics. Very easy for you to see. You've then also got the details of all the different people that might join. You can also add the community guidelines, as I just talked about. You can even change the name. Right now, it's got a random URL, but we could change it to be the squad, etc. So it has a proper URL. You can then even set up different notifications when it comes to all of the email marketing, you know, when stuff happens inside of the group, do you get notified about that? So you can go ahead and reply to people, send them messages, again, be a part of it. So you don't, you know, post things, forget to reply three weeks later, because you've been super busy and people are like, oh, the guy that runs this community is never here. It sucks. So that way you can sort of be a part of it. You can also just like on your Kajabi website, 
you can customize the branding of your email. So again, this is where, you know, school has features for emailing people, which works very, very well. But because Kajabi has an all-in-one business tool set, you don't need something like MailChimp to do all your email marketing. You can just straight natively in the platform, create bespoke templates, just send everything off. Nice and easy, no problems whatsoever. So here you have all of your marketing contact address. I'm not gonna fill that out because otherwise you'd know where I live. So <laughs> I don't really need to do that um, right now here. So then you've got your customization tab. Now, again, just like with school, the feature set's very comparable. There's leaderboards, so school's got a huge element of gamification to it, where if people complete challenges, consume a certain amount of videos, do a certain amount of posts, reply to a certain amount of people, they can unlock different levels and access to further stuff within the leaderboards. You can do the same thing here. You can create challenges and you can create a leaderboard so you gamify and boost and foster more engagement so people get a bit of dopamine, essentially, and go, okay, I'm gonna do, um, you know, I'm gonna be a part of that challenge so I get a little bit more level inside the community. Does the level really mean anything? Not really, but it's just all that dopamine stuff that people like and it means they're a part of something. You then also have your meetups and live rooms so you can host live Q and A's and special events directly in the community. So something we're doing inside of our YouTube roadmap to success, we have a private community that's linked to that course. And then inside of there, we post stuff, maybe do challenges, but more in more importantly, I do live Q and A calls inside of there, me, myself. So I'll do the calls once a month and people can come talk to me, ask me questions. It's very valuable for me as the instructor to understand what people are struggling with to potentially add new modules to the course and improve the product and make it better. But also it's fantastic resource for the students and the community to learn and get their issues resolved and also answer questions and, and actually you know, get a bit of peace of mind. So that's super cool. You can create these, you can change them to be wait for access, always open and customize it depending on what's happening. This is where you can go ahead and create your challenges. So you can create a series of challenges or just a one-off challenge. And you also have presets that make it very easy. So you can see you can create a one-time challenge or a recurring challenge that maybe happens once a month, once a week, however it is that you want to structure that. So it might be a monthly challenge that you do. But let's just say we're gonna do a one-off challenge that's gonna to start today. And it's gonna run for 14 days, so we can make it run for 24 hours, 30 days, adjust the duration. And we'll just put this on the new challenge board. So again, you can create a new series, whether this might be YouTube Roadmap to Success challenges, it might be Kajabi course challenges, it might be how to grow a YouTube channel challenges, beginner YouTube course challenges. However many products you have on your website, you could change this, like for my music website, it might be you know how to play guitar challenges, how to play drum challenges, how to sing challenges, and so on. So we're just gonna have this added to the generic new challenges. It's gonna be a one-off challenge challenge, it's going to be visible to all the members. And you can see here some of the presets that you can access to basically get some ideas for what your challenge might be. You know, pr productivity tips, self portraits, photography, editing, travel photography, meditation, you know, workouts, goal setting, post it, you know, message a friend. So it's all sorts of different things that gives you an idea. Let's say, for example, we're going to go ahead and say we've got an editing challenge. So this is going to be editing challenge. Show off a, a photo you have edited, walk us through the step by step process. So we might say here, you know, show off a video that you've edited, then we'd say, right, we want you to make a 12 minute long YouTube video. Uh, this is this week's challenge. It's going to be a 12 minute minute long video. I want to see the thumbnail, etc. And we'd lay out the whole thing of the challenge and we might even have a prize. We might go, okay, the best person gets this or they get a level in the community, but also they maybe get a camera. We're giving away a camera kit, a beginner YouTuber kit to help upgrade your setup. So you might do a giveaway drop because you've hit a certain milestone within the business. So you can add the optional prize in your camera giveaway. Bang. Then you go ahead and click next. You can upload custom thumbnails. You can add further details here. We'll just use the one that's provided as the example for now because it's a beautiful image. And then this now goes active inside of your challenge board. And you can see how many people have posted, engaged in it. You've got analytics on what's happening. And also you can change and edit the challenge if you made a mistake and you want to get rid of it. Going back to our live calls. Our live calls can be scheduled within the meetings tab right here. You can create a meetup. You can choose the name of it, the location. Obviously, it's going to be a live room. Uh, we're going to do these virtually. Start and end time and also the time zone for those start and end time with me being European and being in London. Obviously, I would organize it maybe around my time zone and then it'll hopefully convert that for people over in America because I do have a huge American audience on our main YouTube channels. Uh, most of them actually about 60% USA. And then you can add a bit of description about what we're going to talk about and which circle you know, some updates and events this will appear in, which main group who had access to it, you know, is it the main group? Is it the YouTube Roadmap to Success group? These are back to those different cornered off areas you can create. The free people can access this, the paid people can access this, etc. So you have full control over who has access over those calls and then you can save that and have that go live and it'll appear as an event within your community. There's so much stuff you can do in terms of messaging boards, special announcements, and also just customizing the navigation board and how the actual community area will operate. Going back 
to our main feed here, I'll show you our challenge board because we obviously created that challenge. And you can see inside of here, we can join the challenge. We can you know, create an entry to the challenge if we were a customer, even do my own entry to sort of get people going so they can see an example of what a submission would look like. And then this starts off the challenge, same as well with the meetups. This is where you would view the live room and everything that's happening. And the brilliant thing about Kajabi is your live rooms are hosted natively on the platform. You can link it up to Zoom or Google Meets, but they are hosted natively within Kajabi videos. So this means it's very easy for you as the instructor to create these, record them as well, and distribute the pre-recorded video to people afterwards, whether that be in a one-on-one -on -one call or a group call. It just removes friction to the workflow. So you don't have to send out Zoom links, join links, create a special event link and, and do all this backend stuff. It's just all done automated natively within the platform. This is something that school lacks. School requires you to use external hosting platforms for all of the videos and live streams. So yes, you can link it up to Calendarly and things like that. And it's, it's relatively automated to a degree. But if you wanted to host videos inside of school, like online courses, you're going to have to use something like Vimeo or I can't remember what the other ones are called or even YouTube, which is stupid for hosting these videos that people can access on demand within the online community area. And if you use Vimeo, that's going to cost a fortune per month. If you've got multiple courses, like hundreds of videos, it's going to be very, very expensive. You're going to need the enterprise plan. And yes, you could use YouTube to host your videos for free, but there's very easy ways for people to copy the URL links from a YouTube video and share them to other people. So then that means if you've got a paid community, people can just access the content and share it with their friends for free. There's very sneaky ways to access uh, unlisted YouTube links. You don't need to uh, be the, a genius to figure out how to do that. So this is a great thing about Kajabi. All of your video hosting is native to the platform. So you don't have any additional costs. Again, it appears to be expensive on the front end when you look at it. But then when you add on all the additional tools you'll need for something like a school, a Thinkific, even a Teachable, it really does become a very viable prospect. I'll leave a link down below in the video description to that extended 30 day free trial to Kajabi, where you can grab 16 extra days completely for free and have a whole month on the platform to figure out if this is the right fit for your online business. And you'll also get that bonus offer, saving you $200 on our YouTube roadmap to success. This will be a limited time offer. I don't know if we're going to offer this forever for everyone who signs up using our Kajabi link or just for the launch period. So be sure to bag that while you can. But if you're still unsure about Kajabi Communities 2.0, and if school is maybe the better option for you, you should check out this video next where we compare all of the feature sets in great detail. But as always, I've been Ben Rollins. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.